Hey there boys and girls, it's me again on uh, doing more OpenBSD stuff. Um, I guess uh, if you guys uh, want to install OpenBSD on a laptop, you probably want to get the wireless networking running, which is very understandable. So uh, uh, I want to have this working for this laptop as well. So I'll just uh, configure it with you. So as you can see on the screen, that's my wireless interface, IWX0. Um, uh, the OpenBSD documentation is, act is actually quite uh, good when it comes to uh, this stuff. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just show you. So when I show you my screen, so this is like, this is the, the, um, the wireless networking page. Uh, yeah, this, my uh, interface isn't on there, but it is supported and it even does uh, five, uh, like, uh, 5 gigahertz. So, yeah, let's, let's just uh, follow along, shall we? So, as you can see, it's not configured at all. So, let's first bring the interface up. IWX0 up. So now it's up. Now I can scan for networks. So you do type scan. And right now it's finding all kinds of stuff. And uh, let's see, it's finding my 5G. That is, this is the access point I have. Uh, oh. Let's just grab for it. So as you can see, it only finds my, it only finds, also finds the 5G. Let's see. Oh, there's a typo. Whatever. So, these are the access points that I set up. So. Uh, these are these are guest uh, uh, guest SSIDs. So which which I will delete after anyway. So I don't mind if you see the password for them. So if I want to uh, uh, want to want to join one of them, you can do if config and then the interface. So you first can check media, see what it supports. So. Uh, it supports uh, 11 AC, so that's five. So that's uh, five gigahertz and all the others, all the other stuff. Um, so if you want to, uh, if you want to join a join a, an access point, it's like temporarily. You could do if config IWX zero. Um, join, let's see, copy paste this, few things can Probably have to type it, that sucks, but hey, it is 0.5G WAT open. Of course, you have to be root for this. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, let's escape this before the shell starts complaining about it. So, do as. So it's not joined. And now I do this. Huh. Do as. And now I'm connected with uh, IPv6. Now I can, for instance, uh,
this interface I can put it down always should do as right so let's also remove the IP address and let's also remove the network card no carrier okay so if everything is correct I can still get on the internet and uh, yeah I could probably uh, so if you look it has some remaining stuff so uh, okay so uh, if I open a browser This is Iridium, which we installed together by Wave. Let's go to fast.com. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is the Wi-Fi. The, the, the network card, network plug is here. So now I'm connected via the Wi-Fi. But of course, I want to do that. I don't want to type all, all those commands. So let's uh, let's make it uh, uh, let's let's uh, well let's put it in the configuration so we get the networking when we boot up. So let's see, that's active. Uh, let's see. Uh, then uh, what you do? You make a host name with your interface IWX zero. I like to bring it up. You can force the media with, uh, but you probably don't need to. Um, let's see. Uh, join. My access point. Show my base buffer. 5G, WA key. Basically, what you did uh, on the basically what you did uh, on the on the on the command line, you just repeat here. Uh, And then you do auto, so and you can also do uh, and also go. So this. So now I can basically unplug this. And when I reboot, it should bring up the Wi-Fi. So let's uh, let's not make you watch a black screen. So this basically uh, explains everything. Uh, let, no, let's watch. Let's watch the boot. You won't see anything yet. Type the passphrase. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah, you don't see this part yet. Yeah, okay, now it's doing the firmware, now it's doing the video, now you see something. Here you go. Yeah. 
Okay, it's doing the network, blah, blah, blah. Okay, hurry up and wait. And we get the login screen, we log in. So yeah, we're logged in. Let's uh, really doesn't like that font. Let's do Kitty is Kitty is better at it. Zoom in for a bit, T Max. Okay. This is uh, my my my, uh, my my cable nick. And then there's IWX0, which is my wireless, and that's connected. So what if you uh, want to uh, switch uh, networks? So you want to disable your Wi-Fi, and you want to uh, go through the, the cable again. So basically what you do is you connect the cable. So let's connect. And as you can see, Status is active. So, and then we bring the Wi Fi interface down. Uh, I mean, down. As you can see, it's no network, so. Oh, that's why I can still ping. Um, yeah, normally, if you want to uh, restart an interface, you go and then your then your interface, so RE zero, for instance. Oh, you have to be root for this as well. Now uh, it. It will restart your, uh, your your network. Remember, I had this is what the installer put into in in here. So yeah, okay. Eventually, it will pick it up and it will configure itself. But if you cannot wait, you can do you can do uh, you can do this. Do us sh net start re zero. You can also do that with your Wi-Fi, by the way. So let's look at uh, let let's look at uh, the at the speed now. It should be a lot quicker because it's a cable. It's basically directed to, directly attached to my to my router via a, a, a switch, a gigabit switch. So yeah. So that's uh, Wi-Fi and uh, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, Next video I'm probably going to do uh, NeoVim and uh, as I said uh, I'm probably going to do NVChat, see how that works. So yeah, I'll uh, leave it there, Wi-Fi. So this is how you get Wi-Fi to work. Have fun, I hope, this I hope you found uh, this uh, informative and uh, entertaining and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye now!